go. Okay, so it's a similar experiment to the one that we did the previous day, in that we've got an electrical contact, um, and when that electrical contact is completed, we're going to time the time of impact from there. So we've got three balls of different types here. We've got the snooker ball. Could have done with this yesterday when I was doing my snooker experiment, but mm -hmm. I only found it today. The, the polystyrene ball and the bouncy ball. Just so you, in case you didn't believe me. So we're going to drop these in turn and see what time of impact we get here. I'll attach one crocodile clip to, to the ball here, and then when that hits here, that creates an electrical contact, completes this circuit, and then we use the fast timer for that. So I'll just set this to a fast timer. Oops. Check that it's working. Okay. So we'll start off with the bouncy ball first and see what kind of results we get. So we're going to get a time of impact here for each of these three individual types of balls. I'm going to drop it from this little marker here that I've handily made just to make it a fair experiment so that we're uh, doing it from the same height each time. Okay, first one. Okay, 3.2 milliseconds, drop that down. I'm ripping the foil apart here. Yeah. Next one, same, relatively same height. That's not right. I'm going to have to recover this in foil, I think. One moment. Okay, try that again. 5.33 milliseconds. And the last one, we'll calculate the averages later. 6.03 meters per second, meters per second, milliseconds. Which one will we do next? Snooker. Snooker? Okay. I'll warn you this one's quite loud when it strikes the surface of the clouds then. Drop this one from the same height. Time of impact. 1.5 milliseconds. One point four nine milliseconds. One point two two milliseconds. Ball is down. Pass the ball. <laughs> Didn't really work very well, did it? <coughs> Two point two milliseconds. It's just because this is so light. Difficult to do. One point six seven milliseconds. Two point six milliseconds. Okay, so which of the three types of balls has the shortest time of impact? Snooker. The snooker? Why? Yeah, yeah. Not because it's heaviest. Because it's got the hardest surface, what happens when an object hits another object? What happens when this ball impacts upon that metal surface? Mm -hmm. How long? Well, they, they kind of do push away from each other. The, the ball will actually deform slightly. So you can actually you can see that on a bouncy ball because you can squash that bouncy ball. You can make that happen. The reason why the time of the contact for a bouncy ball is so large is because when it hits the surface, it actually hits the surface, squashes out for a wee bit, and then heads back up. Whereas that doesn't happen with the snooker ball. The time of contact is very short for that, 
because you know it's, it's a very hard surface, it's not going to deform very much, so its time of contact is going to be very, very quick. This one is still quite hard, even though it's made of polystyrene, you know, it's kind of like a ping pong ball style. Um, it's almost like a sort of plasticky feel to it because it's hollow on the inside. It's still quite hard on the outside, so there isn't as much of a deformation of the surface there, so hence why the time of the impact is still relatively short there, even though the mass is very small.